Hey out there fellow Hot Wheels enthusiasts. Well, sadly today it is the last car boot sale of the season, or of this year. So, I've had to basically collect every single Hot Wheels car I could find. 40 plus Hot Wheels cars. I've got them up here, they're on my cable, they're down here, they're underneath here. There's some over there that are boxed or two. Again, it has been an absolutely great day. So, let's start. Okay, first up we have the 69 Firebird T slash A, Redline Edition. In gorgeous red, or in gorgeous blue rather, those red wheels. So it's definitely from the Redline series because it's got a little emblem up there. So if it was facing its packaging like that, which is my way, so for you it would be that way, it would actually show the emblem, which is very nice. Gorgeous car. From about 07, 08, because it's got the logo underneath with the actual letters on it, which is good. Now, I said I don't really like track cars unless they're half decent. But this one, which is called the uh, Carburetor, is just brilliant. It's based on a fizzy drink bottle, so it'd probably be more better up like that, as you can see. So that would be probably the cap and the base. Yeah, it is based on a... It looks like it's made from a... From God knows what, because I've only just noticed this, but there's a, there's a bottle top on there, or a can top on it. So it's a bottle, can, and it's also good for opening up your beers as well, because it's got sort of like what looks like the beer open. If I had a beer or something, I would literally open that up. But, oh well. It's uh, got fast track race juice on the side. Again, it was a unique car, one that I haven't seen. I like unique. Thought I might as well grab it. Oops. Golden Arrow, one of a few that I grabbed, or one of another one that I grabbed. Gorgeous colour this, black with some flames on it. This side has got the wheel a bit worn out on it. Or is it worn? Yeah, it's, 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 worn, it's worn out a bit. Still nice though, again lovely. Again, I'm going through these quite quickly because, well, my videos usually do drag on a bit. And again, don't worry, if you do uh, want to see a better image of the car, uh, if you go onto DeviantArt, they'll be on there. You just have to keep waiting. Jaguar XJ220 in blue. Some nice golden lines at the side of it. It's absolutely lovely, this car. Doesn't need much work on it. It's got a slightly crooked wheel on it, so I'll have to probably check that out. Okay, now, there was a five-pack uh, Batman series going quite some way back that had Catwoman, Freeze, Joker, Bane, and the Batmobile. I think that's that five? Yeah, five cars. This is Gold Narrow with Mr. Freeze. I, I think this is from, sort of like, the uh, film that they did with, sort of like... Um, that strange Batmobile, the one that looks like a slug or looks very sleek and cool. Again, this is Mr. Freeze in his Golden Arrow, even though Golden Arrow is actually a good guy. Hmm. Could have chosen something else. Mind you, I suppose uh, it wasn't until 2004 that Frostalicious came along, so that would have suited him more better. But, oh well. Okay, we have the Ferrari 355 Challenge here, or just the ordinary. 355 because the challenge usually has the spoiler on the back there. It's in absolutely gorgeous colours this. Black with the Ferrari logo. Good condition. Metal base. Metal top. Lovely condition. Action News 68. On a custom 77 Dodge van. These are actually sort of like the vans you do see following the police with a hot pursuit or a hot case. So it doesn't surprise me that they'd go for this. Again, I'm in the UK, so channel 68, we don't have. Uh, two more channels, and it's CBBC. But, uh, well, this is sort of like basically in America, so channel 68 could be an action news channel or a news channel. Not sure. Any USA guys out there, please do go to channel uh, 68 and see what is on there. Pony up. Now, I already had one of these, but I've now got three. This is the second one, as you can see, in gorgeous green. Faster than ever wheels, so it's obviously a good track car, this. Nice colouring on the top there. 
Again, plastic base this one. Usually they have a metal blade, so they've obviously changed it so it can be a track car. Which is wonderful. Bane's Pony Up. Bane from the uh, five pack Batmobile, or Batman set. As you can see, quite an evil looking guy. And when they've remade him in the latest Batman film, even more evil looking. You can see he's got Bane on the Hot Wheels. Nothing on the sides. Front end's nice. It does look quite mean and evil though at the front. Though, that pony up thing. I wonder why they called it pony up. That's because it keeps horsing around. Haha! -ha, my second pony. Whoops, a daisy. That was close. Just dropped a few Hot Wheels cars. Or well, this one. Okay, which is, of course, the Altered State. Gorgeous uh, hot rod thing, this. I'm not exactly 100% on this. Is it a hot rod? Is it a custom? Don't know. In very nice condition. Front wheels are a bit buckled, but I've unbent them. A bit dusty as well on the top. I think I got this from a family that basically the toy cars were just sitting around doing nothing. So I thought, okay, I'll grab quite a few. Chevy Nomad, the uh, later series. Again, the later ones, they welded the bonnet shut. But the earlier ones, it did used to have an opening bonnet. I did have one in orange, but sadly that went. Again, this is a gorgeous uh, green with uh, noise wheels on it. It's absolutely gorgeous colour. St. Patrick's Day green, I think, because it's not British racing green. That's a slightly darker colour. La Trucker. In absolutely gorgeous purple. I don't know what it says on the side here. It says delivery AZ something. There yeah, might be a T. Or it could be an I. A Z I T L A N. California. That's what it says on the bottom. California. Again, gorgeous condition. A little bit of a emblem on the back end there as well. Lovely colours. Absolutely gorgeous. Sun visor as well. I'm, I like that as well on the top of the truck there. And that's pure metal as well. It's not plastic. It's actually part of the uh, casting. So that's very cool. Move on down to here. Austin Healy. In beautiful blue. It's an Austin Healy because it's a UK car. Beautiful smiley front end. It's got uh, Office of the Mayor. Planet Hot Wheels on the side there. I'm not sure the glass is supposed to be that low though on the original. No, it's supposed to be short, but this is the only one that actually has metal. Uh, has a small little metal base to hold in the wheels. Again, it's all pair of fairly plastic, but this bit here is all metal, all pure metal. So it's all like a half metal base, half plastic base. Fish and chipped. This is from the Return of the Wastelanders. Fraser City Fish and Chips. Smoky Coral Grey. Strange colour, but nice. I think this is based on a Mark 10 Jag. I'll have to look at some of them. I think that's what it is based on. It's lovely. Car from 1993, but I've no idea what it is. It has no name on. Again, it seems to be a case of Mattel have obviously taken that sort of like step into naming their cars so that people do know what they are rather than sort of like going around asking them. Again, this one, nice tigery type stripes on the side there. Same on the other side. It's just a nice car. Okay, now the one that almost fell on the floor was Outsider with the original two guys on it. This is sort of like a racing trike bike type thing, which is usually quite uh, hard to control. But you see you have one guy on the front there to control it and steer it, but the other guy, he has to sort of like lean with the bike, so it basically sort of like steers in the right direction. As if it don't steer, it sort of steers, but only slightly. And if you've got a sharp right or a sharp left coming up, he has to really lean. Again, usually you'll find it with no guys on, because they do come detached as you can see so you'll probably find it like that or without even that guy again these are very small choking hazards so again it would be nice to see uh, this one come back just sort of like make a final run of it or just make it come back for one last time or maybe this is the final run is this the final run I'm not sure 
Well, Mattel have obviously done it once again. They have sold off a casting. The ice cream van came to a final run. And of course, it is the exact same. One does have the ice cream man in, one doesn't. Again, um, trouble is though, with this one though, they were careful. They've erased the name. So there is no name of the company. So this could be sort of like a cheap car manufacturer that have made an ice cream van. But, hmm, again, it's definitely Hot Wheels though. I mean, you can just tell. I mean, Hot Wheels were the only people who had an ice cream van casting. And this is pretty much identical. I will be doing a video on that with the original one. Turbo Flame. This is in gorgeous condition. Ish. Back wheels are a bit buckled, but again... It's a nice one. It's got the Hot Wheels Fire 3 logo on it. Look at that. Gorgeous condition. Missing the glass on the front, which is a shame. But again, if you go around uh, probably a bits and pieces shop for Hot Wheels, you can probably find it. That would be actually quite a good bargain, that. Sort of like setting up a shop where basically you have nothing but Hot Wheels parts and accessories. Probably lose a lot of money, though, because, well, you'd sort of like probably only have a select market. 57 Roadster. Gorgeous car this. I used to have one of these in red. I think the first, uh, whenever this came out, first edition. This came out in 2001, so I think probably a bit older than that, though. I don't remember having that one in 2001. Don't remember being given it. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I used to have one in red. Gone, though. Again, these little wheels on the front. I think one broke off, and, well, that was it. Okay, this one um, is h to go but it's actually called um, Hydroplane. And it's what's on it that actually amazes me. OCE Antics. Research Vehicle 1. Preserving nature is our business. It's on a Hot Wheels car, and it says it all there. I don't know if this is a promotional vehicle, or whether this is just sort of like someone's freebie design idea for the company so this is sort of like the company car that if you brought your kid in to discuss sort of like business and stuff they would play with there's a slight bit of damage on the front glass chip there a bit missing again it's in fair condition would be nice to know if it is a piece or what again this is now changed to h to go or is it i'm not 100 percent. i know there's another one like this that is exactly the same so could there be two of the same? I'll have to do a comparison video. Jet Threat 3.0 in gorgeous blue alloys with a gorgeous blue base, white top. And as you can see, it's got some skulls on it there. I don't know if they show up. Nah. It's definitely skulls there though. It's all very cool looking. Zero G 52 Hot Wheels on the... Uh, Little top bit there, absolutely gorgeous. All my keyboards all clogged up with Hot Wheels cars and everything. Okay, we have the Corvette S, or is it 3? Ah, oh, SR2. Now you've seen one of these already in green from that Corvette pack, or 5 pack. This is a single, it's absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, slight damage on the front end there with chipping. Slight damage on the back, so it's been played with. But again, it's a gorgeous car. Sinstra, done up in Catwoman style from the Batman 5 pack. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous gold. Very nice Catwoman on the front. They put a logo on the back as well, just there. The underside is very nice as well, very purple. Again, gorgeous car. I think if I only had to choose one, it would be this one. Maybe because, again, I'd like to see the Sinstra as a Super or a Tea Hunt. It'd be very nice. Unless that came to a final run. I wouldn't have thought so, though. It's a nice car. Riley and Scott Mark III. Custom car, or some kind of racing type car. Again, I don't usually go for racing cars, but when it's one that I haven't seen... It's very unique, this one. It says it was made in 2000, so this is probably sort of like around about 2007. 
and there's Hot Wheels stuff on the side, loads of logos, loads of stuff. Again, I, I don't usually collect these sorts of cars, but again, it's just nice to have one to the collection. Again, if I see them in this condition, I will buy them, but if not, then I'll leave them for others. Kwame from 2007-ish. I think it's from 07, 06 sort of time. Again, looks like a ute van or truck or whatever. It's from 2007 because underneath the emblem but no logo. Lamborghini Murcielago. It's in gorgeous condition this one considering it came out of one of the uh, little cars down there, one of the ice cream vans. Again, Lamborghinis, gorgeous to look at, fearsome to drive, very brave, only drive the older ones. The newer ones, they've gone a bit soft. But again, they are gorgeous to look at and gorgeous to drive. So I'm told I can't drive one because I don't have a license. Fiat 500C, done up in racing style. It's a lovely uh, custom, this. Yes, it does have two different wheels, but they're exactly the same on the other side. So I reckon this is a combination pack, like the uh, custom Corvette that has two different coloured wheels that's in the box set. Again, slight little bending on the uh, spoiler bit. It was popped off, but I popped it back into place. Front wheels are a bit bent. It's got uh, 919 on the front, some kind of writing logo on the side there. It's gorgeous. 64 Impala. Gorgeous condition this. This is the sort of condition I like to find cars in. This sort of not quite played with. Probably played with but only a few times. Gorgeous top and gorgeous sides. And side as well. Front end's very nice. And with the back end, very nice. Again, don't worry if you don't get a full view of this. You can check out uh, Deviant Art with uh, my cars on. Another turbo flame, bit of a buckled front wheel this, again this has the Hot Wheels logo on it, absolutely lovely that. It's a shame this is plastic, otherwise that would be a good sort of like customising side on, so you could colour like all the Hot Wheels colours in. Again it's a nice car, but it's a nice turbo flame. 2010 Camaro SS. Now it says 500 something on it. Perhaps maybe you'll recognise the logo on it. Or perhaps maybe you'll just recognise it in general. Again, it's a lovely car. It's a 2010 Camaro, so only two years old. Gorgeous condition. Faster than ever wheels on it as well, which is very nice. Lotus Elise in black. You saw my gold one. This is in black. It does have, I think, yeah, the Lotus logo in the corner there, just in the corner there, on the back wheel. That's what that says. So in lovely condition, all black. Good car for sort of like uh, putting different colours on. So perhaps maybe you could colour it in a bit, silver, gold, bits and pieces. Wheels are in fantastic condition. Ferrari wheels though. Hmm. Don't really suit it. Faster than the other wheels might be good. Be nice to see that one in a super. Okay, now I don't usually buy Matchbox cars, but when they have Coca Cola on them, I do. This is the London FX4 Taxi with the Coca Cola logo on it. Again, I didn't actually see the Coca Cola logo until I was sort of like having a bit of a rummage. The other thing as well about the FX4 Taxi, the doors open. It sort of looks like it's flying a bit, or well, they're certainly acting as wind brakes. Again, the FX4 Taxi has been around for quite some time. This is the recasting, very heavy as well. Pure metal base and pure metal top. It's in Coca-Cola colours because you've got the classic white and the classic red underside. It's gorgeous. Now, like I say, it was the last car boot sale, so I decided to sort of like buy a lot of cars, including this Matchbox, which I can't read. Oh, it says Bulldozer 04. Now, I just like this one because of its uniqueness. Again, it looks like a bulldozer. 
Uh, the other thing as well is the fact that he's got on the back of it a ball charging through a brick wall. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, four simple wheels on the front. The bucket doesn't move sadly. It would be nice if the bucket sort of like lifted up a bit, but obviously not. It also looks like it doesn't pop off either. And again, it's a nice little vehicle to own. Unique, and I like unique. That doesn't mean to say, no, I'm going to start collecting Matchbox. I'm a pure Hot Wheels person. It's just some Matchbox cars are very nice and I do like them. 57 Chevy Bel Air. All metal, apart from the engine bay and the glass and the wheels. Beautiful plastic. It's got Track Aces 16 on the side of it. And it's like that blue one I showed you a couple of uh, car boots ago. It's in gorgeous condition. Absolutely lovely. It's also got the uh, fish hook and four grenades underneath. Very strange. I say that's maybe what. Uh, I that's maybe what they looked like. If you flip one over, it was sort of like that was what was underneath. DCC Dodge concept car. In fair condition. It's uh, slightly worn, a bit. This is the one that if you go onto race groove, he's got one, but the uh, back end hasn't been properly riveted, so it's popped up a bit. It's a cool car, very heavy, pure metal base, pure metal top, lovely car. AMC Javelin AMX. Now AMC cars I love, and this one is nice as well. This is sort of like basically a very nice American car. But, of course, it was made by AMC, who brought the DeLorean, the Gremlin, and the Pacer. So when they tried a sports car, everybody just laughed at it. It's a shame, because it is very nicely designed. It sort of looks like a cross between uh, a Mustang Match Mark 1 and a very nice uh, Cobra. Oh, well. Still, it's in great condition. Good year on the side, Javelin. Lovely car. Finally, at last, I have a Torpedo Jones with Torpedo Jones in it. These get lost so easily because, again, he pops out. I only discovered this when I was having a bit of an adjustment. Wheels on the front were a bit bent, so I had to adjust them. Again, beautiful sort of uh, car, this. You can actually see one of these. Uh, the Germans have built one, which is vicious. And we also have our one, made out of engine planes. Again, this is sort of like a plane engine. So Spitfire, Concorde, or um, an old sort of like uh, World War One or World War Two uh, flying engine, putting a car body, and it's called Torpedo Jones. Again, this one, I don't know if it's a real car or not. If it is, then brilliant. If not, then great concept car. I haven't seen many of these. I think it might be because of this little guy popping out and probably sort of like choking on kids. But again... Would be nice to see another one. Perhaps maybe just without the guy. Or perhaps maybe you can seal the guy in there. So he doesn't sort of like escape or fall out. Final car from the Batman 5 series is of course the Joker car. On this uh, very strange car, whatever it is. It's a very nice one. This actually gorgeous purple. Red alloy, so absolutely tasteless, which the Joker loves. Got the Joker on the front there, and of course has his emblem on the back end there. Oops, on the side. There we go, Joker. Again, gorgeous sort of car this. I've got a couple of these now. No idea on the actual name, so would be great to hear the name. Final few. Mono Pistons. Now, I've seen a few of these. I think there's a yellow and a red one. They're coming later. This has got the uh, number two logo on it, two mono piston on it. Perhaps maybe this is a final run car. Can't really see any final run logo on it, but it sort of looks like it's in the colours of the final run. Shame, as it's quite a nice car, but I suppose every Hot Wheels has to come to an end. Oh, a bit stuck. That's it. Fast Fortress. Uh, no idea on the year on this one. It's not from 2007, because I have the 2007 first edition when this first came out. So it's probably 09, 2010, 2011 sort of model. 
It's a strange mobile. It sort of looks like it's a plane that was built on land. It sort of looks like it's a plane type, but it was sort of like built to go on land rather than in the air. Still, very nice though, and a great car. And finally we have a pickup truck. You may remember the surfing one. Well, this is Team Noah Off-Road, apparently. It's a bit worn and a bit knackered. Needs a bit of work on it. But again, absolutely gorgeous car. Okay, that is all the uh, unboxed ones. Now, I happened to discover there was a guy, or two guys, selling a lot of boxed uh, cars and unboxed cars. They do some great deals. And the two boxed ones that I found were absolutely great. Okay. That wasn't supposed to happen. Excuse me. Right, stick that up there. Okay, first up we have uh, Fire Eater from 1998. Boxed. Again, the card's a bit dented, but again, that's from me. Again, it will flatten out quite easily. Again, it's in gorgeous condition. Has also sticker sort of debris on the front there. You can see that. But again, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's the first time I've seen this. No error on it. I can't see any errors or any sort of like defects on it. But again, it is a gorgeous car and or van. I don't know what it's called now. And the second one, I don't know if this is a promotional pack. It says action pack set action. It's from, well it doesn't even say what year it's from, which is wonderful helping, but it has to be fairly old, somewhere in the 90s, because it doesn't say, oh here we go, 1998 again, it is the Action Pack Double Set, Fire and Rescue Set, as you can see, this is the sort of thing race crews would love to have. It has the fire truck there, also has some figurines, has a nice scene on the top there. And then on the back, it has even more stuff as well. As a, there was a whole collection you could grab. From the looks of it, you can have the Rover, Lunar, Mars one, the original. Uh, the very original Rugrats first movie cars. Two drag racing ones, looks like Snow Clear Up Crew. Some kind of uh, rover mission launcher. Speed record setters. In air set stuff. NASA type stuff. Surf beach patrol. Original Toy Story stuff. And uh, fixing repair sort of stuff. Show you them on the back there. It is quite a big box set. As you can see there. It is amazing that sort of like I found this all boxed and brand new. And I paid two quid for this, which is amazing. Again, it's got a little Labrador or a Dalmatian on the front. It's got a person cutting into it. The fire engine, I've actually, I think I've already got the fire engine on the front here. Not the fire engine, the ambulance. I think I've already got that one. Not 100% on it though, which is actually quite hard to see. Again, absolutely gorgeous thing to buy, and it was boxed as well. Well, that is sadly it. That is all uh, the car boot sales gone. I will be finding more stuff to do. Again, I've got the uh, comparison of these to come. So I'm going to compare these with another one. And also as well, like I said, I've also found these two. H2GO and Aquaplane, or this one. So it should be rather good. Okay, other than that though, uh, thank you for watching, and again, until 2013, no more car boot sales. It's going to take me a while to sort this lot out though, so until next time, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you, don't, if you didn't get a good view on the picture, or on, the, um, on this video, don't worry, if you go to DeviantArt, look up the Old Horse 2, most of the photos of the cars behind me and here will be on there. Again, I thank you very much for watching this video, and until next time, goodbye.